All right, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this right here. Just like a simple nighttime scene for beginners pretty much. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do here, we're going to go here and make our dock. So I'm just going to grab a cube um, and just press uh, S and Z on our keyboard. Just kind of scale it down and then S and Y. So we get like a little board here. It's really thick. So we can just S and Z. Um, we want about this thickness. That's about good. So this looks like a board. I'm gonna make a little bit thinner actually. Um, there you go. So now we can do click the little Z up here. So we're straight. And then we'll just make this a little bit more skinnier. Awesome. So we'll press Control C, Control V, G and Y, and then just kind of pull some of the board and kind of move them around a little bit. Um, actually, they look a little bit more random. It just adds to the scene a little bit. Awesome. Do this, and then there you go. So I do about like six or seven, depending on you know really what you want. And then what we can do here is just Control C, Control V, and bam, there we go. Um, so now we're gonna put these um, right here. Select them all, and we'll just kind of drag that up a little bit, so a little bit more thicker. There. So once you have something kind of like this, and you've copied it and all that. Um, this is going to be our dock. So what we're going to do now is shift A, go to mesh, go to cylinder. Shrink the cylinder down using S and then press S and Z. And something about there is good. Um, you can just scale it up a little bit. Um, and you want it to be about uh, almost like half of the size of a board. Uh, so about there is good. Now we're going to go here to modifiers, this little blue wrench. Click Add Modifiers, go to Array. So, and we're gonna do one. Well, we'll actually, we'll do quite a large number here. So, do like 4.5, minus 4.5 on the Y axis. And then just kind of line these up, copy and paste. Or what you can do is go to Add Modifiers and add another modifier. And then here on the X, just kind of move it to the other side, just like that. And what we can do here, I'm actually gonna shrink these a little bit. They're just not my preferred size. It's about there. And then just kind of go here back to your numbers once you, if you have edited the size. Kind of afterwards, you can just do this. Um, so there you go. Awesome. We have our little dock here. You can just press G and Z to kind of move these down. We'll press Auto Smooth for these. And then we're going to Shift A, add in a plane here. S and Y to scale. And then G and Y. And we'll move this. Uh, we just want this to be the kind of fillers of these little gaps here. Now what we're going to do, Shift-A, add in another cube. Scale it down quite a bit. We're going to scale it pretty flat. And then press S and X and kind of move that. And once we have this kind of little thin board, we're going to move it here to the edge. And then click the X. Or, yeah, the X here. And this is just going to be... Um, kind of under the wood here as support beams. So this is going to be just barely under the wood like that. Awesome. Press G and Y. And we will press S and Y right here in the middle. So just pull that all right there. Get the scaling right just to where you like it, I guess. Um, and there you go. Awesome. So press G, Y, oops, sorry, G and X and pull this under the wood just a little bit. So about there. And press S and Z if we want as well. So there you go. Awesome. We can do the same thing here. Add modifiers array. And we'll just array this onto the other side. And we will do it about the same, just right under there barely. Bam, so right there is good for me. Okay, awesome. So we can select our plane on the inside and just, I forgot to say, make sure it's not scaled on the X incorrectly. Um, I'm going to do about there, and that works for me. Awesome. So that's that's pretty much our dock. It's super simple to make. That was really easy. Okay, and then what we can do now is go here, Shift A, go to Mesh, add in a plane. We're going to press S and 10. Um, you know, actually, <laughs> we're going to have to do a way bigger number. We'll do S and 50. So about there. 
And now what we can do is press G and Y on our keyboard to pull it right here, um, just where our dock is at. We can press G and Z to pull it down. And we'll do, uh, do just your preferred height. So I'm gonna do like uh, around here. Now what we can do is press tab on our keyboard and we pull up this little grid here. Now we can right click and press subdivide once and then we go here to the subdivision tab. Subdivision, <laughs> I said subdivision. <laughs> uh, go to our number of cuts and we're just gonna set that to the max number here. And then just right click and subdivide it. Uh, subdivide it until you get something about here. We'll do um, up here in our edges, we're gonna have 248,512. Awesome, so once we have that, what we can do now is go here to our add modifiers, click displace, and it's gonna disappear, that's fine. <laughs> Press new, click these two little tabs, which are gonna take you down here to this little grid, which is your texture. Now you can click image or movie, and click our clouds. So we're gonna have this crazy little thing here. We're gonna change the depth. Uh, I think we had it set to, I don't know, do like three. Yeah, we'll do three and then change the size uh, to about, I did 0 0.24, 0 0.23 ish works for me. Now we go to our camera and we see this really bumpy plane. It's gonna look like ocean water. Uh, we can turn up the depth if it's not looking choppy enough as well as the skill to do a few different things. And this is more, you kind of just mess with this until you have your preferred um, looking kind of water. Awesome. So what we're gonna do? Press G and Z. I'm gonna move mine up just a little bit, and G and Y to pull this past the camera. All right. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do? Is select our plane, and for the water texture, it's super super simple. Um, what we're gonna do here is click Shift A, and we're going to add in a color ramp. And we're gonna have the color ramp hooked up to the color, just in case we wanna hook up anything else to it. Um, kind of pull it out there. Click the metallic and bring it all the way up to one and roughness all the way down. I'm gonna go here to our subface and bring the color down just a little bit and change it to a slight blue or something like that. That's about perfect. Maybe a little pink, it's fine. Bam, just about there. Okay, awesome. So now that we have a color, um, let's put it just a little bit more white because we want it not too obvious. Awesome. Let's go to our world settings now because um, we're going to need that open later. Okay, perfect. So now the next we can do here is I'm actually going to select our dock. Um, and what we can do with our dock is kind of change the scale of it. Really do whatever you want until you get your preferred thing. So let's do that and I'll be back once I have the scale of this just kind of where I want it. All right, once you have your uh, your thing here, I did uh, move some of these around and added a few more of these boards, but not much has changed. And I did take the side panels off, which you don't really need as much, not too, too important. Um, but I did just take them off. And what you can do next is pretty much just add your camera, really do whatever angle you want. It doesn't really matter too much here. All right, next thing we're gonna do here is add in a character. And I will leave a Mixamo link to, a link to Mixamo in the description. And what this is, it's just a website you can go and download just some like simple characters. And the one I have here is just an ideal pose. So just kind of somebody just standing. Um, and that's what I'm going to use here for now because you can really, um, it's just a placeholder because you can add in um, whatever character you want here. So that's that. All right, next thing you're going to do here is add in two lights. So the ones I have here. Um, I just wanted to kind of light up the character, and these are my settings for the power. You can copy it if you want. They are both set to 1.6, one farther back at the very end, and one right here. And then, let me... Okay, and then what we can do here, now that's we have our water, our dock, our lighting, and our character. Now what we can do is add in our or background and that's super simple what you can do here um i am just using a pre-done model and it's done using blend kit here and you go here and just search on balance and that's the model i'm using oh, i should put the model here so this is the model here that i'm using um just this mountain and i kind of did scale it a little bit and rotate it um, and this is the mountain we're using and the way you can get blend kit actually is go here to your edit preferences go here to your add-on section and search up blend kit 
it would be this one, this one here. 3D view, Blinkit, online asset library. All you have to do is just click the little check mark right here and then you'll have this asset library here. And you can just search up mountains and you can find whatever mountain you want if you want to even do a mountain. And just, you know, slap it on here. Awesome, and then the same thing while we're at it, we're going to add in our HDRI, which is just going to be a night sky. So if you want to strip sky, really whatever you want, and you will have your HDRI. Um, personally, I like this one right here, full moon, night sky, zero one. So we can select that and we will have it here. And we select 8,000, depending on your computer specs, which mine are trash, <laughs> but we're still gonna add it in. Once you have your HDRI in, you can do some editing in it um, if you would like. Um, but these, I'm gonna show you my settings really quickly. Um, so if you're just following exactly what I'm doing, um, I will show you my rotation settings and kind of all of that for the whole entire scene. So if we zoom in here to our nodes, awesome. What we can do here is our, let's see, let's go here. Our rotation is set to 44.7 and then our Z is set to minus 9.3, sorry, 9, <laughs> 3.9. Nine. And then on the Y is 3.9. And that's pretty much all uh, for our world settings, at least for now. <laughs> and then the strength is set down by 1 to 0 0.900. Awesome, so that are world settings. Next thing we can do here is going to be our last asset we're going to use, which is now only two assets so it's not too bad it's including the hdri hdri so you can get from um anywhere the, some websites i recommend would be hdri haven or uh quixel mega scans or um textures.com so those are the three websites i recommend if you want some hdris and don't feel like downloading uh this blanket library last thing we're set up is going to be our moon um and the moon will be here in the asset library just search it up and you will have your moon all right, so the moon is pretty simple. As you, as we said, we can go here to our asset library and just add it in. So this is around the general scale of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's all set to, okay, let's go to our object and we can see. So the scale for all this is just set one. I just kind of used S on my keyboard to scale it up. Um, and you want it to look about that size right here, just kind of peeking over a little bit. We can actually scale it up just a little bit more. Um, so just about there. Has some nice reflection there. And for the lighting for this, all I did was for the hill, put one light right here, and this is set to 500, sorry, 5,000. I'm um, just to add some light to the back of the mountain as if this was reflecting um, off some light. Our moon, the textures for the moon aren't too crazy. I went to the NASA webpage and just downloaded um, some pictures of the moon and kind of just slapped them onto the. Um, if you want to know how to do that, super simple. Just go to NASA website, download the pictures, and then use the image texture node. Next, for the moon, I just grabbed another light to use some nice reflections, and I just set it to 10,000 watts. Now we can go to our camera. And the last thing I have here is a sun. We just have it kind of pointing um, for some minimal lighting here as well. Um, they can use just to get some nice reflections here on the mountain and shadows. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. And the last thing we're going to have here is our kind of uh, mist on the water, which is probably one of the best things here. <laughs> um, for this, it is super simple. This is the node setup for it. I will, let's see, zoom in on that. So I will zoom in on the node setup here. Um, it's super simple. All I did was um, have our material output here hooked up to a principled volume, which the principled volume is hooked up to a color ramp and noise texture. What the noise texture is doing is having the scale of the color ramp connected to the density, which is going to change how thick the fog is or mist, whatever you have. Um, these are my settings right here for nighttime, daytime is going to be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, these are my settings connected to the factor, factor, and then color to density. Um, these are my settings, you can copy them. The details are set to 2.9 scale is 7.4 and roughness and um, all that other stuff is set to default um, yeah that's pretty much it make sure the volume is connected to the volume um, that's 
pretty much all for the scene after you have all your lighting you can pretty much do whatever you want um to the scene i think the only th really thing we need to do now is you can either grab a picture online or whatever of some wood um let's go back to our other scene here there we go um so the only thing would be for this wood here you can either grab a picture of some wood and just use an image texture um if you want to look these are my node setups for the wood bam you can take a screenshot if you want and pretty much you can just copy the nodes um straight from this and this is the second one here which is uh you're gonna have this but two times on um the textures and then for the logs um these are also textures these are some pictures that i found on google and i just kind of unwrap them onto these objects or what you can do here is go to your blanket asset library click the material uh, the materials here you can click this little icon here and you'll have materials and you can just search up wood and bam you have some wood here so you can either use some of this wood or just copy the textures i have set up here and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you all enjoyed hopefully that helped and you learned some stuff from it um yeah and i will catch y'all next time goodbye